Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be comparing these top brand AA batteries with these budget double A's and I'm gonna find out which one is the best value for your dollar and which one lasts the longest. As part of this test, I have the Duracell Optimum and the Duracell Copper Top. The Copper Top has been around for a long time and the Optimum just came out last year. So it's gonna be very interesting to figure out just how much longer the Optimum lasts compared to the Copper Top. And in case you're wondering, this is the IKEA Alkalisk here and this is the Insignia. I got the Insignia from Best Buy. You can order a big bunch of them online. The IKEA comes in a package of 10 and it was pretty cheap right in the store. I paid less than five bucks for it. So I'm expecting the IKEA and the Insignia to be somewhere pretty close, but let's do some testing and find out. I will discharge each battery using this device at 200 milliamps continuous drain until it reaches 0.9 volts. Once the display starts up, it will show us the voltage on the top right here. The amount of energy drained from the battery will be here in milliamps. Here will be the minutes and the seconds elapsed. When the battery turns yellow, that means the voltage has dropped below 1.1 and when it turns red, it has dropped below 1 volt. Most devices will stop working around 1 volt but some may stop working even higher than one, which means that the power in the yellow and red range is not always useful. So it's time now to see how the lower priced batteries performed. Let's start the test. Testing is done, Rayovac came in first place, it lasted 10 hours and 41 minutes, IKEA came in second, one hour and a half behind Rayovac, Insignia was third, and Panasonic was last. Rayovac lasted 38% longer than the Panasonic, which is about 3 hours. I'm very happy with the performance of the IKEA Alkalesk, a 10 pack is very cheap, so I think it offers a great value without having to buy a ton of batteries. Rayovac also offers a great value if bought in a big pack. I found it on Amazon in a 72 pack, which comes to a lower price per battery than the IKEA. So now you're probably wondering how these budget batteries compare to top brand batteries like Duracell and Energizer. So let's start the second test and find out. Testing is over, and that was an amazing run for the Energizer Lithium. Lithium technology is superior to alkaline, so I'm not surprised this battery lasted much longer. These lithium batteries are also guaranteed not to leak, so keep that in mind when deciding which battery to buy. At number 2 and 3, the Energizer Max and Duracell Optimum were almost tied, and the Duracell Copper Top came in at number 4, which completely surprised me. When comparing prices for these batteries, given how long they lasted, the Energizer Max in the 48 pack offers the best value. Since I was surprised that Duracell Copper Top lasted much less than the Optimum, I wanted to make sure that the result was accurate, so I bought a brand new pack and I'm gonna give it one more shot. Let's start the test. Testing is over, and this copper top lasted 17 minutes longer than the previous one, which is only about 3%. I double checked other batteries as well, and they varied by 3 to 5% also. So keep in mind when interpreting my test results that they could vary by 3 to 5%, because not all batteries are built equally, even if they're from the same pack. So here's a summary of my results, and you might be wondering which one of these batteries offers the best value for your hard earned dollars. Using current prices I found on Amazon, Ikea, and Best Buy, I made this chart, which shows how much runtime each battery pack provides for $1. Rayovac in a 72 pack offered the most life for $1 at 37 hours, Energizer Max in a 48 pack offered 25 hours, 
Ikea in a 10 pack worked out to 23 hours, and Insignia in a 48 pack came out to 20.9 hours per dollar. So this chart is based on the entire life of the battery, including the yellow and red voltage ranges, but if you're using the batteries for high drain devices, you'll be most interested in the green voltage range. So here's the chart, considering only the green voltage range, Rayovac, Energizer Max, and Ikea are still the top three, but Energizer Lithium has moved up to number four, and the rest of the ranks have shifted a bit. Here are the best prices I found, which I used to make the charts. Keep in mind that prices will change in the future, so be sure to do your own comparison when deciding which battery to buy. If you're looking to buy some AA batteries, I have some links in the video description down below, so be sure to check them out. I placed the best deals I could find there. So that's it for this video. I'll be doing another video with the Duracell Quantum and the Rayovac Fusion. So make sure you subscribe to my channel to get an alert once I post it. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and supports me so I can bring you more great videos. If you have a favorite battery that you always use, make sure to comment down below and let everyone know what you think. And if I haven't tested it yet, I will consider including it in my next video. Thanks for watching.